Good morning, everybody. John here with Sergeant Reds. Early bird gets the worm. We are up um, early heading over to check out a collection uh, in the neighborhood of some vintage Star Wars stuff. So Red is going to head over to the shop, and she's going to take care of the opening uh, of the day since we opened at 11 today. But I'm heading right up the road, so we're going to check out this collection of Star Wars stuff and uh, show you what we get, hopefully. All right, guys, so we're here in the basement of a massive Star Wars collector's uh, collection. So this stuff is stuff that you've been collecting since it came out, right? Yeah. So he's been collecting this since it came out, um, and he has it all out here. So I'm going to show you what we have here. Flip this around. So you can see we have some modern. Uh, I say modern, but it's the 90s era stuff. Not a lot. Most of this is vintage. And we do have some G.I. Joe stuff. So my favorite, of course, is the gung-ho kite, which I might just try to go fly. I don't know. But then we have some of the uh, the vintage Star Wars here. We have Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. Look how nice these boxes are. This stuff is in really good shape. These boxes are beautiful. Um, we got the Jab of the Hut Dungeon. We have a Darth Vader speaker phone and an R2-D2 uh, phone. That's more of the modern stuff. But we have um, some jigsaw puzzles. These things are sealed. We have all the mini rigs here. We have the little Ewoks. The little guys, they still have their tags. We have the TIE Interceptor. We have Battle Damage TIE Fighter. We have, this is cool, who remembers V? Remember the TV series? Well, there's one of the action figures here. He comes with the little the face on there. That guy's pretty cool. Then we have an ad at here. Again, the boxes are really nice. I mean, these are these are really, really nice boxes. So he kept these things in good shape. We have a newer G.I. Joe thing here. Um, we have Jabba the Hutt, the playset. This is all the little figures for these micro uh, playsets. You know, some more modern stuff with the... Uh, the watch there, but we have a Millennium Falcon in the box. We have size noodles. So this is in the box, but it's been opened, but everything's in there. The microphones and the flutes. And we have the Hoth Ice Cannon playset. Um, all of these are filled with figures. Then we have a Tauntaun in the box here. A Rancor. We have some Micro Machine, micro machine uh, Star Wars playsets. We have the Imperial cru uh, Cruiser here. We have a speeder bike. We have the Tatooine Skiff, and I don't believe that's opened at all. That is factory sealed still. We have an Imperial Attack Base. We have some more of the Micro Machine play sets here. And then we have the Laser Pistol in the box there. We have two Scout Walkers. We have the Rebel Armored Snow Speeder. Battle Damaged X-Wing. Slave One couple more of the uh, modern stuff there and then that's Jabba's palace um, over here we have some G.I. Joe stuff so we have a carded snake eyes and the crimson guard and then we have Serpentor um, Zartan is in here this is not sealed but it has all the dreadnoughts in it um, we have the dragonfly and we have a lot of uh, G.I. Joe figures in here these are all full of the backpacks and accessories I'm going to come over here and show you a couple more of these, uh, these G.I. Joes. This basement is probably one of the coolest basements I've ever been in. Um, so we have the Vamp. We have the Battle Platform. We have a Moray, which has the box over here. And we have the Headquarters. We have some modern Joe stuff. And then we have some more vintage G.I. Joe. There we have uh, the Vamp Mark II, the Stinger, and the Fang. We got the Claw, the Air Defense, Snake, Cobra Flight Pod, and the Cobra Bunker. So the biggest problem I'm going to have now is, is this is all going to fit my truck because Denise went to Home Depot or Lowe's or one of those places the other day and got a bunch of shelves, which are probably going to be filled up with all this stuff here shortly. Then we did have a couple more cool things over here. We have some, these are Star Wars glasses, right? I didn't even unwrap them. But we have some Star Wars glasses here. We have a bunch of the fan club stuff. Um, some cool patches from the fan club. A couple ornaments. I'm going to take his iPhone with me because he left it right there. But uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but we are going to get all this stuff repacked and get it down to the shop. Looks like it doesn't even need to really be cleaned up. So um, we're going to get this stuff loaded up and uh, go from there. All right, guys. Well, we made a deal on the collection. We brought it back here to the shop. It barely fit in my truck because old D had picked up a bunch of shelves and they were still in the bed of my truck. So I was like Tetrising everything. But we finally got it all inside. Um, a lot of it went upstairs to be sorted, but some of it's going to be getting ready to go on the shelves here shortly. Um, but some of it also needs to get sorted still down here. But um, this is all the Star Wars stuff. I think there's a couple G.I. Joe things in there. And the V thing, that's going out. But the Star Wars stuff was uh, pretty much already 
sorted the um, GI Joe stuff. He was in the process of sorting it out, but uh, we just we just bought everything that was there. Um, that way he didn't have to deal with the headache of kind of putting all the weapons and missiles and all that stuff together. Um, we'll deal with that headache. Instead, we enjoy it. And we probably have a little bit better idea what goes with what without having to look it up. Um, so we got that stuff, but we do have some changes in the shop. So I'm going to turn this thing around and show you what we've done. So, as you can see, there's a showcase here that's not quite full yet. Well, the reason is we got three new showcases in the shop so we can bring more stuff down. So this one used to be over here where these two um, brown slat walls are. So we're going to be putting more stuff in here, um, getting more stuff out for you guys to see. These were down there before, but we moved the showcases uh, down there as well. So we had the Star Wars showcase here. The floor's a little bouncy right here, so we decided to just slide them over there where it's not as bouncy when you walk. Stuff was falling down. We moved this up. We still didn't want it to feel super cluttered. I don't think it does feel super cluttered. Obviously, we have three new showcases, but you can still walk through the shop and navigate it easily. Um, don't forget to come in and get your uh, delicious, delicious kale, shiitake, and faux candy canes while supplies last. Um, so you can still navigate. There's still plenty of ways to walk around. Basically, we just put that, we put those there, slid that down here. And I actually kind of like the way it looks better down here because this gives me more showcases. If you remember, down here we had two showcases back to back with like, uh, we had He-Man, Thundercats and stuff in the one and the other side was G.I. Joe. Now we can put more stuff out here, um, that you can see that's in these display cases. Um, so we get more stuff out. Plus we have the, the room on top, which... We need all the room we can get, guys, and I just don't want it to feel cluttered, so I don't want to throw too much more in here as far as shelving goes. You can still come around. I still have my little intake area for when new collections come in or when uh, FedEx drops off boxes. We're getting more Joe stuff out here right now, so this is going to have more G.I. Joe, um, some other random stuff like the, the Shogun Warriors down there, but Mask and things of that nature are going to be here. And then on the other side, like I said, we have the He-Man, Thundercats, um, and then some, some randomness over there. Santa Claus was here again yesterday. It was a big hit. He actually went outside and was handing out candy canes as cars were stopped in traffic. Um, I told him I did not recommend that, but apparently he has the magic of Christmas, so he was good to go. But anyways, oh, this we just got these in today, too. Um, we took these in our trade. We don't typically deal with D&D &D, uh, stuff. We have a lot, but someone did have this, um, a good customer of ours, and he wanted to see if it was something we were interested in. So we did get a bunch of old D&D &D books, um, and we'll be going through those and sorting those and getting all that stuff priced out here very soon. But uh, yeah, I'm trying to see if there's anything else new we've put out since last time we talked. I know I ended up getting uh, some new Black Series stuff in from our distributor. Um, we still have a few of these left. I think we only have two of the leg lamps left and a handful of these Christmas NECA figures. So if you're interested in those, make sure you stop in. And then we got uh, the new Jar Jar Deluxe. We got a case of him and uh, the armor from the Mandalorian. And our friend Jeff has put this on loan here at the shop. Um, this is a display. This is a store display for the Power of the Force, or the uh, Episode 1 figures that talk. So if you want to see what these guys say, you take one of them, and they got the chip. No matter, I asked you to help us. Our fate is in your hands. So you can actually see what all these things say. And we do have a couple of the Comtech readers uh, available as well. So come in, check those out, see how they're going. Um, we have Budios. Um, and then we move some stuff back here just to kind of clear some of the space off oh that's what it was this one triangle we put up against that wall which i don't know if it'll stay there it might move once santa claus is gone um, and we don't have his area anymore so we took everything that was on the back of that and we got it all into these shelves here and you know filled up this back wall some more with some more of the, the items that were on that so anyways guys someone just pulled in the parking lot so i am going to stop video recording but uh this is a good a nice good transition to end this video so Hopefully you guys are having a great day and um, we'll catch you on the next one.